Welcome back, guys, to SB Gamer. Today we will be playing um, the Escape the Amazing Kitchen Obby with Isabella. So, um, we are today joined with her, and of course, you know, a little Charlie. He, hopefully, you know, if you heard him in Normal Elevator, he doesn't talk much, but let's hope he talks during this video. And I will be having someone on my shoulder in the next video. Okay, oh no, we're trapped in the fridge, let's escape. Oh. Heart attack. Oh, that's not the way. <laughs> Wait, where did you go? Go up the apple. Oh. I knew that. The thing is, you don't die right away. What? Yeah, touch the milk. Oh. That's nice. Because you know I get mad at games really quickly. Yeah, they change like small beans. Get past the stage. The popsicles. Who is that? Trash on the floor. And I know I said stay tuned for me and Katie, but Katie didn't want to. So. And you know, I'm always up for a good robot stage. Okay. So let's play some music. Are you a banana? 
Because I find you up, up healing. Oh, uh, wait, I stepped in the chocolate chest. Wait, can you not step in it? Stop. You're gonna get killed. Ooh, you nice. have like a sliver of life left, Sarah. Chill. Well, I get to the checkpoint. <laughs> when you get to the checkpoint, just. It's like one of those at first I didn't die. <laughs> oh. Oh, I was waiting. Watch out, there's pudding in them jars. Wait, what does the pudding do? Oh, it kills you. That would make sense. Hey, this is Amanda. Nobody cares about your life. That, that, that came out wrong. <laughs> yeah. We all meet on the bus. And not in my house. It all brings a sense of community. It doesn't bring me home. Okay, Nothing. Oh yeah. How do you? Uh, I hate this lobby. <laughs> for consumers only, not for producers. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going backwards. I've been doing this. I, I, I think I know that. Hmm. I dropped it. So, here's what happened. I cracked my phone. Y'all can't see it, but it's not that bad. As bad as Isabella's. <laughs> Isabella's was like huge. It was like the whole phone. Mine is like the top left. <laughs> and literally, I have a new phone now, and now my parents are really protected on my phone now, so now I have, just today I bought a glass protector and a new phone case, so my auto box broke, and we told Apple that it broke with an auto box, and we said there's something like that. Anyway, we got a new case, and it's black, which is really disgusting, and I wanted a different color, but they didn't have any in my phone size. So basically what happened was, um, I was going into Hobby Lobby yesterday. It happened yesterday, guys. Well, I don't know. The day before I posted this video, I don't know if you're watching it, like, right as I post it, but, so the day before I posted this, yesterday for me, I was going to Hobby Lobby to get some, like, craft stuff, but then... I, we didn't even get anything there, which is really sad, because they didn't have anything that I needed for my craft. Shout out to Troom Troom, um, where I got my craft ideas from. Um, and then, it was raining, and I don't have a screen protector on my phone, because I don't know why. 
I know that sounds really stupid, but I, I just don't. Um, so... Oh, I made it! I'm sorry to interrupt sorry, my story. Okay, so anyways, um, it was raining, and my phone was in my pocket, and we were inside Hobby Lobby, and... What? It wasn't raining in Hobby Lobby, but I was wet, so that's a key part of the story. Um, and so I go inside Hobby Lobby, and we're like looking, and I go to the bathroom, right? Not anything disgusting. I didn't drop it in the toilet, but see, my hands are wet, right? And so... I washed my hands, that makes my hands even more wet, so, you know, I'm like triple wet now, and so, and so I'm like triple wet now because of the rain, and then I wash my hands, and then for some reason, so I go back, Hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, well, y'all don't know, but I had to go for a second. Um, so yeah, I had to go. But anyways, I'm back. And yeah, so I'm back. And so anyways, I'm like triple wet. And so I go back into the car and right, I pull the door open and I'm taking my phone out because you don't want to sit on your phone. And my hands are so wet. I don't know why I didn't dry my hands, but it's still raining. So my hands are even wet. And then it just falls. Like I'm almost in the car. Like the car, if I put it in the car, then it would have been safe. But we were right there at the car, and it just fell. So, you yeah. know. Wait, what do you do on level, um... Where's the cabinet? Where's the cabinet you go to? Probably for me, hard, but for you. Oh, you gotta go in. video soon because it's gonna get pretty long so yeah so just heads up. I mean to y'all it's probably not like I don't know why I'm telling y'all I'm gonna end it soon Let me 
take you down. Wait a minute, let me on. So, I am going to end this video. Um, Isabella is somewhere. So, um, um, we have me and Mr. The Charlie. Oh, so now you talk? Now that we're ending, Lil Charlie, you want to talk? Yeah. Well, let's get the Lil Charlie game review, shall we? We shall. So, Lil Charlie, what do you think of this game? Well, I think it's a big piece of poop. Why do you think that, Lil Charlie? I think that because it's, it's very for you, not for me, but, you know. Look, look, Sarah, I have ultra jump 100 speed and heart. I could use that right now. Um, anyways, little Charlie, um, little Charlie, what were you saying? I was saying before I got really interrupted, that. This game is pretty good, and that if you would play it, be prepared to get mad, because this game can get you very mad. Can't it? It can. So, um, so, bye. Bye. And once again, this is Escape the Amazing Kitchen Obby with Isabella. We're leaving. <laughs> so, thank you, Mr. Hidden Power Up. We had some good.